Deploying applications from the cloud can be complicated with a raft of technical issues. With app distribution in Avanti Neurons for UEM, you can easily deploy applications to your users' devices with a simple package distribution. You can also take advantage of the perpetual app deployment to detect and push app packages when needed. You can view deployment status of your app packages, confirming if your devices are in compliance. In this demo, we'll show you the benefits of Avanti Neurons for UEM app distribution capabilities and how they can help you deploy vendor and custom applications from the cloud, stage complex app installations, and keep track of software compliance. The ease of use provided by app distribution makes it simple and straightforward to deploy applications to your users' devices. With an intuitive interface and automated processes, you can quickly push out the application packages to all your devices. Once you log in, go ahead and click on App Distribution in the navigation bar. And here we got the App Catalog. And you can see here, here's a list of applications that we already have configured. We're going to go ahead and create a simple package first for Notepad++. So let's go ahead and click, click on Add. So we want to go ahead and give it a name, make it easier for our users to know what it is, our analyst. Later on, uh, click and give it a description real quick here. We can see when it was created, last modified, and who modified it last. And we do have the on-demand install here icon uh, selection, so I'll go over that later on. I'll just click on, but we're gonna go ahead and just do a simple one for right now. Let's go and click on package. We, as you can see, we have multiple stages, detection, download file, execute, execute MSI instead of just executing AXE. We got a file operations for copy, delete, unzip, and so on, reboot. And we have the ability to use a script if we want to, to install an application do, and also do a check. We'll go over detection later on when we do persistent installs, but I want to go ahead and click on, go ahead and first click on download file and we'll go ahead and go ahead and down, select where we want to download the file from. So from the URL, we're going to go ahead and click on the location we want to install it from. And you can see here we're going to download it from that, uh, from that GitHub. And next, we're going to go ahead and put a file hash to make sure when it downloads, it downloads the file correctly. And if it, if it fails, it will go ahead and we can say we can continue on failure, but we're going to fail it. I want to go ahead and fail it there. Next, we can just say execute, and this will execute from the you know local directory on the in the in the Avanti agent install directory. And we can say we can run as system interactive current user or current user interactive. We can also say we can do, do some several file operations. So it's still very simple. If, for example, if you have an agent on there that prevents installing, running installs or MSIs from any location but a certain location for installation, like say, you know, like Carbon Black, we can say, okay, we want to go ahead and create a folder if it doesn't exist in there. And we assume that if it still fails, that, you know, it might fail because it already exists. So we're going to say continue here. Then we're going to go ahead and do another file operation. We're going to copy that file to that directory. Notice that we have multiple operations. We could copy, we could create a folder, we could delete, move, rename, unzip it, or zip it. So we're, I'm going to go ahead and say copy, and I'm just going to move that file to make it easy, simple. Because so we don't want to use it up to extra disk space. So once that file operation is done, we can just execute. We have an options to go ahead and reboot. And if we want to reboot after an install, since I don't want to re reboot after installing Notepad++, since it's not changing anything in the op operating system, I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. And we're going to go ahead and save. And we're going to say, give it a name, uh, a comment, version, saying it's the first one. And there we go. And we can go pet and we can look, we can see the file there. And as we could look at the package, we have that version. Now, if we edit that version, we could go ahead and, oh, I go ahead and I want to go ahead and reboot the file in there. So we could save it, added, reboot, save. And we can see we had two different versions in there. But I really, after t doing some testing, I want to go back after, you know, testing it out. I want to go back to make this the current version. I can say, okay, current version, don't need, don't need to reboot. 
save. It goes back to the current version, iOS version 3. So we want to go ahead and distribute this package out. We could do that. We could add a distribution. We could say we want to say a specific device if we want to, to make it easy. We could say uh, neurons groups. If you got groups in, uh, in the device groups in neurons, you can select which groups you want to get added to. Like if I want to just go Windows client PCs, I could do that. And go ahead and it will distribute it automatically. When an analyst is faced with a service request that requires installation of a non-standard application, app distribution allows them to quickly and automatically download and install applications on demand. This eliminates the need for manual installation, which can be time consuming and prone to human error. With app distribution, analysts can cut down their workload significantly while still providing reliable applications for their users. Now, what if I wanted to make this available on demand to be installed by, for example, your support analyst or one of your security engineers that they need to install it for whatever reason to troubleshoot or, you know, they, they need it for the client wants to have it installed on that, their computer. And you don't need to pass this application around, you know, to everybody because only certain people, not, not number of people need it. So you need it for, for on-demand reasons. So let's go back to click on overview. You see here we got the on-demand install. Once this is enabled, this will make it available in Avanti Workspace under Devices. So if we click on Devices, we click on the machine that I want to install it on. So let's say I want to install it on one of my desktop machines. We could check the, if the, you know, what I usually do is check to see if it's already installed. We do see it, but it's an older version. I want to install the newest version. So I could go ahead and say install this app. Select the app and say install. And it's really that simple to do. App Distribution in Avanti Neurons for UEM is a powerful application deployment solution that provides users with the ability to deploy applications from the cloud. You can configure neurons to push out an app package when it detects that an application is not installed or has been changed. This is especially useful for deploying security agents in secure communication applications, such as in Avanti's Neuron Zero Trust Agent, in order to keep your devices in compliance. So in here, we go ahead and we want to go ahead and make sure an app is always installed on a endpoint or computer or a set of computers. First, where you need to go ahead and click on App Configuration. And as you can see, I already have an already installed app configuration. So we're going to click on there. You can see here is our options are installed once or, or always required it to be installed. So we're going to go ahead and save that there. Now we go ahead and go into app catalog. I have already, we want to make sure that we're using the right version of an app. So for example, if this VLC, we're going to go ahead and go into the package. And this is going to be very especially useful for security agents to make sure that you're using the right version and the right, you know, if it has been, make sure it hasn't been changed. So we're gonna go ahead and we already added the detection. If you look at the detection, you can see I have already have an or statement. So if any of these don't match, it will go ahead and go ahead and, and go ahead and install the app. So for example, if the file version doesn't match the version I specifically say, or for example, if it doesn't exist in that location, that file does not exist, or if the checksum, which is, you know, if the file's been changed for some reason or some you know, virus has changed it or something of that nature or some, some other agent has changed it and you don't want it to change, you can put a hash in there to make sure that it, it keeps the, that version in there. So we got that detect and you might even want to do a reboot afterwards and if you feel that it's, you know, if it's been an issue to reboot after installing, I'm going to go ahead and put it in there. We're going to go ahead and save that and we're going to say add reboot and detection. We're going to go save. Now we're going to go into distribution. We're going to add distribution. We're going to say, we're going to title it always installed. And we're going to just click on app configuration and always installed. And that will enable it. And we can say which targets we want to apply it to. So for example, I want to apply it to to that device that we had earlier, my desktop device. I'm going to say add, save, and it's always going to be installed on that application. That application is always going to check to make sure it's that version, 
and we'll check on it and install it. We'll go ahead and go ahead and into reporting afterwards to show what those deployment standards look like. App distribution within Avanti Neurons for UEM allows IT professionals to keep track of software compliance and confirm that applications are being installed on their devices. The deployment status page allows for detailed analytics so users can easily identify any issues with their deployments or installations and quickly adjust as needed. So in here we go ahead and we want to go ahead and make sure an app is always installed on a endpoint or computer or set of computers. First where you need to go ahead and click on app configuration. And as you can see, I already have an already, already installed app configuration. So we're going to click on there. You can see here is our options are installed once or, or always required it to be installed. So we're going to go ahead and save that there. Now we go ahead and go into app catalog. I have already, we want to make sure that we're using the right version of an app. So for example, if this VLC, we're going to go ahead and go into the package. And this is going to be very especially useful for security engineers to make sure that you're using the right version and the right, you know, if it has been, make sure it hasn't been changed. So we're going to go ahead and we already added the detection. If you look at the detection, you can see I have already have an or statement. So if any of these don't match, it will go ahead and go ahead and and go ahead and install the app. So for example, if the file version doesn't match the version I specifically say, or for example, if it doesn't exist in that location, that file does not exist, or if the checksum, which is, you know, if the file has been changed for some reason, or some you know, virus has changed it or something of that nature, or some, some other agent has changed it and you don't want it to change, you can put a hash in there to make sure that it, it keeps the, that version in there. So we got that detect, and you might even want to do a reboot afterwards, and if you feel that it's, you know, if it's been an issue to reboot after installing, I'm going to go ahead and put it in there. We're going to go ahead and save that, and we're going to say add reboot and detection. We're going to go save. Now we're going to go into distribution. We're going to add distribution. We're going to say, we're going to title it always installed and we're going to always click on app configuration and always installed and that will enable it and we can say which targets we want to apply it to so for example I want to apply it to to that device that we had earlier my desktop device I'm going to say add save and it's always going to be installed on that certain application. That application is always going to check to make sure it's that version, and we'll check on it and install it. We'll go ahead and go ahead and into reporting afterwards to show what those deployment standards look like. Overall, Avanti Neurons for UEM is an invaluable solution for enterprises looking to streamline their application deployment process while taking advantage of modern cloud technologies. It provides an efficient way for IT professionals to deploy applications from the cloud securely while ensuring all components are up to date. With its ability to leverage scripts, compress files, modify registry keys, and execute specific commands using stages, users can easily complete their complex and customized installs with confidence, knowing that they always have an up-to-date software running within their environment. <music>